it's new legendary time! So guys, obviously a couple of days ago we unlocked the Sumo Dragon for getting to 2,000 points in the Enchantment League. And uh, it was kind of a big milestone because it's not the easiest thing in the world to achieve. But we did finally get this dragon. I have to say the egg is kind of really plain apart from the like sumo band around its bottom there. But here we go. We finally, finally got hold of this uh, interesting looking dragon. So before battle, the sumo dragon likes to greet the vikings with a bow as a mark of respect. Then it does its best to knock them from the competition ring so it can be declared the winner. So obviously the sumo dragon is meant to be a super competitive dragon which, you know, the way to get him is actually really competitive because you have to use thousands of potions and beat down like hundreds of opponents as well. But there we go. Number 325 added to this account, and we've also um, completed the Protector Prizes section in the Codex, which gives us three gems. Oh no, it gives us 20. The three was for another thing. Coolio. Well, that's better than I expected. But little baby Kale's just got his, like, uh, sumo band on. And apart from that, he's kind of cute in his own way. Kind of really plain, but... You know, the Sumo Dragon is some people's least favourite dragon in the game. And, um, I believe someone in the comments section always used to call it the Grandma Dragon. Like, they kind of thought it looked a bit like an old woman wearing a... I don't, I don't know, it's probably the hair and everything else, but... You know, overall, this is, like, the third strongest dragon in DML. Uh, so, other elements are Shadow and Light. Sumo is just an insanely good dragon to have on a team overall, but new dragons are coming out that are getting even better than this Sumo dragon. And actually, you know what? We've got a level 4 Sumo. How about we take it for a quick fight? Because, you know, me even thinking about having the Sumo dragon on my team is kind of a lot different from what I expected like a, a good long time ago. Because, you know, at one point, I would have been like, wait, you think I have the opportunity to get the sumo? Psh, you'd need, like, three level 80s for that. But, obviously, we proved me myself wrong, considering we got our dragon with a single level 80. So, let's pop our pineapple dragon in here as well, and we'll take him for a quick spin. Obviously, here in the S is legendary element unlocked, so he's not really going to be doing a whole lot. But we can just take a look at him. I mean, in comparison to something like the Dust Dragon here, he does look kind of spooky. At least to me. I think he looks a lot scarier than, uh, you know, this derpy little salamander, the smoke dragon and everything. But... Again, old me, we finally reached the point where we've unlocked this dragon, so I guess be proud. Even slightly, for one reason or another. And you know, if you're going for the sumo dragon as well, like I've said, I do plan on releasing a little guide video on how I did it and all of that. So if you're sort of contemplating whether you want to go for the sumo yourself, hopefully, that little guide or like explanation video will help you out. Because it's not impossible, you can do it with a level 70 as well, so uh, don't don't just assume that you can't do it. Let's see if we can take on this fight as well. This has got a level 6 in it. Obviously our sumo dragon being a legendary means that he has no weaknesses as well, so in comparison to these enemy dragons, he is much stronger than they are. Again, that's why the Legendaries and Divines are so strong overall. They are very good. But, you know, after we finish this fight, I do also kind of want to have a quick talk about some stuff that's been said on Facebook, some stuff happening in the DML Facebook groups, and the uh, the Gameloft forums, because I'm sure anyone that's that goes on those sites frequently has probably seen... Uh, some of the comments about what's been happening. Nothing really that major, but people are making it out to be a lot more than it is, I feel. And, uh, I do have my own reasons for wanting to discuss this stuff as well. 
So we'll do this, I guess, while we do some enchantment fights, because, you know, what's more brain dead than doing enchantment fights? I have reduced the levels of my defenders now, by the way, so if you are on, you know, my server and you're going for the sumo dragon, I'm currently sitting at 1959 trophies and all my defenders are level 45. So, uh, you know, if you see my name, know that you're gonna have a free, a free, uh, chest, basically. As long as you have above level 45 dragons. But, yeah, like I was saying, um, you know, in terms of divines, obviously we have those new Chinese divines that are going to be coming out with the mega event thing, and, uh, for some reason there are still some people that are adamant that the old divines, like the Hermes and the Zeus, the Poseidon, people for some reason are still adamant that they're going to be returning. Again, some people, not everyone, you know, anyone that's paid any attention to the DML social media would have seen that it's been confirmed that those dragons will never, ever be back. And I've said that many times as well, you know, Gameloft themselves, if they say those dragons aren't coming back, believe them. Because, you know, for them to go back on their word on that, I think would cause so much of a ruckus that they wouldn't want to do that. But... In particular, like, something that sort of sums up how I feel a lot of people react to this is a comment that I saw on the Facebook page earlier today. So, someone here said, It ruins my day when I know that the last Divine Dragons won't appear again. I think our purpose to collect all dragons is cancelled. And then, my last clan members has retired when they knew it. I think it's time to get the other game. And I'm sh assuming they mean like Dragon City or Dragon Vale, something like that. And then, the DML page said, We're sorry to hear that our decision on this matter has detracted from the joy of collecting all the dragons. We knew that some folks will be unhappy with this one, so that's why we're, we've even had a super divine chest to give our players one less chance at those specific divine dragons. That being said, we can't really go back on our word here, so we ask for your understanding. With the promise that we'll be clear from the start in our future communications about important topics like these. So, you know, if you're someone that still to this day says, No, Gameloft are going to bring the dragons back. Don't do anything stupid because um, you don't want to spend all your money on them if they're going to bring out the dragons again anyway. Well, you know, if you read through that Facebook comment with me just now, you know, they specifically said, We know that this decision will upset people and they'll be more transparent in the future or more clear on what the deal is with those dragons. So, if you're holding out hope that the the uh, Poseidon or the Zeus dragon are going to be back, please stop. Please stop assuming that they will be. They have said it so many times now, and, you know, I do understand. I'm kind of disappointed as well. I wanted the chance to get the Zeus dragon one day that wasn't just in the Super Divine chess, but that's obviously not the case. And so instead of sitting there and saying to people, well, you're dumb for assuming that they're going to stick to their word. Gamelofter always go back on their word. I don't believe. I firmly believe that Gamelofter aren't going to go back on what they say regarding the Divine Dragons. And so, you know, I do feel bad for the players that didn't really get any dragons in the Divine event. That's why I'm hoping in the new Divine event that uh, we will have access to some easier dragons because apparently there's talk about the Changi dragon and some of the others being divine chest dragons only. Please, please don't make that be the case, but I think it's pretty likely. But, you know, that's overall just what I wanted to make sure you understand if you didn't already know already that with these next set of divines that are coming out, it may be the same case again. Maybe the Changi and the uh, Nezher and stuff like that will never come back. So if you want these dragons, you need to make sure you get them during this upcoming event. That's why I keep saying, you know, prepare yourself, make sure you are ready for what is coming so that you can get these dragons. And I'm going to do the same thing. 
I don't want to miss out. I want to at least get one or two dragons out of the super divine chests if they come back. So, you know, hoping and praying that the boss challenge is a little bit better for me this time around. But that isn't the only thing that I kind of wanted to uh, very, I say quickly, comment on, but it'll probably end up turning into almost a mini rant here. If you've been on the Gameloft forums or the DML fan pages, air quotes, you've probably seen a lot of discussion about the fact that, you know, with those three new divines, a lot of people got information about them early. And uh, even I, myself, decided not to talk about the dragons when they were initially leaked or found out, purely because we don't know whether that information was, you know, them hacking into the game or not. Which, you know, I guess if you just respect Gameloft in any way, you wouldn't really talk about some of that stuff if you genuinely knew it was leaked info. So, obviously, people on the, the wiki don't release info before it gets sent, and people on the DML Facebook pages, whether they're fan pages or not, tend to stray away from, you know, talking about early info. And then people were getting banned for, you know, releasing pics of the Gwandi and the Changi earlier and their elements and everything like that. And everyone was in a little bit of a, a ruckus on the social media because everyone's getting banned left, right and centre just for mentioning it. And then we've got you know, people on the Facebook page saying, well, you obviously work for Gameloft then, and, you know, saying that it's not a fan page anymore, how can we trust you, that you're not a corporate business, blah, 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 blah. And then some of the admins have been saying that, you know, now they feel ostracized from the DML community, and that people apparently don't respect them like they should, because, you know, they're assuming that they're basically Gameloft's puppet. And, you know, while I do think that, you know, most people's view on that is ridiculous, obviously they're still a fan page, it's just giving the company the common courtesy of, you know, respecting their wishes. You know, if they sometimes, like, they send them dragon image files and stuff to update the wiki with, so why would you want to sever that connection with the company, right? Like, I completely understand that. I am in the same boat as them. But what my issue is primarily with the whole situation is the hypocrisy of some of the Facebook admin members. Because if any of you guys remember to, like, back in the previous Divine event, obviously I released info about some of the dragons, or by release info, I, I basically just said, this is the image that everyone's been looking at and seeing. We don't know whether it's true or not. This is just what everyone's been sending me. Turned out that that was leaked info. I wasn't sure that it was. I thought that they were fake. You know, that was my bad. And since that, I've never done it again. But the thing that I find comical is the fact that some of the Facebook page admins were the ones saying that I worked for Gameloft and that I obviously had planned this, uh, like the dragon leakages on purpose and that no one should trust me and that I'm a Gameloft puppet and then they were trying to spread that information to other people as well. Like say, oh well Quackalex works for Gameloft so, you know, it's all a conspiracy and she worked with them so, you know, don't go and watch her, blah 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 blah. And now that it's happening to them, they're saying, we feel ostracized, we're so sad, I can't believe people are treating us like this. <laughs> well, to be honest with you, I mean, you're literally the most hypocritical people I have ever seen in my life. And the thing is, when I went to defend myself at one point on the Gameloft forums, this same person in particular and a couple of other people that are around on the Facebook pages said, yeah, well, we assumed that just because how did you have um, these image files? How do you have the image files early? You know, people send stuff from everywhere. And, you know, if, I just wanted to say, you know, not necessarily a message to them, but 
I just to comment on people as a whole that you know I had to defend myself and then they were saying yeah well there was no need to defend yourself you know quacks you're just pointless anyway yeah well why do these uh, people managing some of these pages feel the need to defend themselves now then if you feel ostracized why did you think it was acceptable to try and ostracize me from the DML community you know <laughs> it's just I find it really comical I don't really care at the end of the day because you know it's the internet I have to deal with people all the time it's nothing new but I just I find it funny how almost triggered some people end up getting when the behavior that they put on to others happens to them and then suddenly it's the worst thing in the world and then you know they get offended they try and cause big argument chains but they don't mind giving out false information to other people about others just because it suits them so you know i guess that was my little mini rambling for today and do i feel any better for doing it not in particular but i just want to point out that i fully fully support them removing images or leaked info early I fully, fully support them. What I don't support is hypocrisy. So, um, you know, I'm sure those people, if they heard me talking about this, they would understand that this is definitely directed at them in particular, and they're probably feeling even more triggered in, the, in their little booties. But, you know, I don't care at the end of the day. I just think, you know, some people deserve what they get. And they got a little bit of a taste of their own medicine. Which, um... You know, I think it was about time. In one way or another. So, you know, aside from that... I don't think really anything else has happened. We did get a new update in DML today. You probably haven't noticed. And the main reason for that is that it was basically just a hotfix um, update. And some more stuff getting secretly added into the game files for the new event. So maybe more leaked info is going to get spread around if, you know, more new stuff has been added to the game. But uh, again, I won't be talking about it. I won't support anyone trying to talk about it either. Until, like, we get the go-ahead. That, you know, this info is true, it is correct, and, you know, Gameloft do actually want it on the open scene. But, um, you know, going out. I think uh, that is going to be way, way longer than I even expected this video to be. But I'm happy we got this new dragon, obviously. And, um, yes, I know there's limited time breeding for the carnival. I've already made a breeding guide, DML. That's one thing that needs to be changed. They need to stop the push notifications from popping up while you're actually in-game. It's so stupid. Like, I am already in-game. Like, I could be sitting here looking at this very panel and then it'd say, Come and breed the carnival dragon. It's like, goodness sake. But, like I said, I am going to leave for now. So thank you for sticking around and listening to me ramble all the way to the end. You know, you're the real MVP. Most people skip through videos and, you know, after five minutes they just get bored. So I'm proud of you. I'm super proud of you. But, you know, for now, thanks a ton for watching. And until next time, I will see you then.